Hallelujah indeed, our prayers have been answered. And Casio have finally released a steel digital uh, back onto the market after all these years. Um, so there's a quick wrist shot of it there. Um, and while I remove it, it's got this rather nice um, release on the clasp there, which is a, a step up from the normal um, clasps that you have on Casio breaker slips. Um, it's the same folded steel um, construction of the bracelet as you'll find on other Casio digital watches. Um, but uh, it, it's finished slightly nicer. So you've got um, sort of the side links are matte and you've got these polished centre links. So the finishing is nicer and that extends to the case as well where this bezel here is uh, is brushed and then the flat bit of the case is polished um, as are these side bits here. But then again, this this edge here is brushed. So a nice mixture of finishing on the case there. It's gone the extra mile. Um, and also, amazingly, it's got quick release spring bars. That's the first time I've seen those on a Casio. I wish more watches had that. So some nice attention to detail where um, people who like watches appreciate it. Um, however, it does have the same module as the uh, far cheaper and inferior A700. So it's a basic alarm chrono uh, module with a light. It does have quite a nice light, coloured light. It's an LED one. But it's just a nice blue colour rather than the sort of more usual orange. Um, I'm not sure about their mother of pearl <laughs> um, surround there, um, but I did want the one with a positive display rather than a negative display because I find them easier to read. Um, so size wise, um, it's 35 millimetres wide and it's also 35 millimetres lug to lug and it's just a shade under five millimetres thick, so it's a nice thin watch. Um, so that makes it larger than the, uh, the A700 and more similar in style and size to the legendary Casio Marlin. This is um, one of their early 1980s uh, digital watches, which was in stainless steel and a bit of a forerunner to the G-Shock. Certainly that display format is still used in uh, G-Shocks today. Um, but sadly, this is lacking the uh, screw down back and 100 metre water resistance and the countdown timer of the Marlin. Um, so yeah, you have just got the time mode with a date there, an alarm, chronograph. Um, you have to do the light button to reset it. No, there's no button there. Um, so and then the final mode is the time setting mode. So when that's flashing, you can adjust the time. Um, and you do that by, um, oops, just do that again. You do that by using the light button to change which bit you're you want to set and then you press this button to adjust the value and then just press that to go, to go back to normal time mode um so yeah as i say it's not got the it's got the a screw at each corner rather than a whole the whole case back screwing in so it has just got the same water resist rather than a, a hundred meters or anything um so yeah as i say it's not quite a replacement for the casio marlin um but I do as I do like it, and it cost me eighty pounds. And I, to, is it worth uh, that much more than the A seven hundred? And I, my answer is a definitive yes. They've um, they put some effort into the design and construction of this watch. Obviously, it's still built down to a price, um, but you know it's these little features like the you know the case finishing, the uh, the quick release spring bars are very nice touch indeed. And, uh, and also the box is a big step up from the usual, I mean, that's your usual uh, Casio cardboard box. Um, and I don't normally do unboxing videos. Um, I'm not about to do one here, but this is the box from uh, for this uh, A1000. And um, inside the box, you've got a nice um, sort of gold, sort of metallic gold covered in a bit with a nice little leather pouch for the watch. And then you've got your, your manual and there's my spare links that I've taken out of the bracelet. So yeah, they've added a bit of, uh, taken the boxing a little bit up market there. And um, so that makes a nice change to your usual uh, Casio vintage line of digitals. So yes, um, Casio very much to be applauded for this watch. Um, would be nice to see a slightly more sporty version of it, a bit more like the Marlin, especially with that extra countdown timer feature. That would be absolutely perfect watch for me anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.